I've been wearing a watch on my hand for, I don't even know, I'm probably since fifth grade, fourth grade, something like that. And I've had a lot of watches, and usually this is what happens. The watch still works, but the band breaks off. And today, it's just gotten to be cheaper to just buy a, another watch than, than a band. This here is the Casio F91W, and it's supposedly a seven year life with a battery. Uh, I've never wore a watch for seven years because the band is always broken. And so um, I went about a week without a watch, and it was kind of an interesting feeling to, to not have a watch on. I sleep with my watch on. The only time I take the watch off is when I uh, take a shower. Uh, and so I always have a watch with me where I can you know, check what time it is, um, no matter where, where I'm at. And, um, and so I've been buying more economical watches. I did play around with some of the smart watches, uh, the ones you hook up to, the, uh, to your phone and whatnot. Like that. The problem is they don't have a long barrel, battery life. After this watch broke, I, I went to one of these cheap ones. I, I, I like using technology. And this thing doesn't even have like a two or three day uh, battery and it died really quickly even though I turned off the Bluetooth and, and it had a full charge on it so uh, that's really useless for me because I just want to wear I always want to wear a watch that works I don't, uh, it, having your text messages come up or having your phone ring it's kind of a cool novelty and, and if you didn't have to charge up the the phone the smartphone a uh, smart watch with a uh, you know, special uh, charger and everything like that and it's a pain in the neck maybe maybe if you had 10 chargers around you could that wouldn't be such a big of a deal, but you know, anyways. And I'm used to wearing a watch when I go to sleep and, and whatnot. So uh, I was just going to buy a band for this because because this is only like a year and a half old, and uh, this has got a lot of battery life in it. Uh, but a band is about ten dollars. It's about the same price as buying this watch. And I thought, well, why don't I just up upgrade this a this a touch more? And I got this other Casio um, watch. I don't remember the model name on it, but it's a, this one says a 10-year battery life. Now I guarantee this watch band is going to stop working before then. It's a little bit bigger than the other watch. Uh, one thing this watch didn't really have is a, uh, a lap counter, so when I, when I run I can see how fast my laps are on this one a little bit. It does have two time zones. This one didn't have that. Um, and this is just a good, this regular watch. This is a watch they probably made even in, in the 80s. Um, and the one thing about this watch is very, it doesn't weigh, you don't even know it's on. It doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. This one's a little bit heavier, and you notice it, but I, I, again, I've been wearing watches so, so long. And I know a lot of people don't wear watches. So for that week, uh, that I, because this broke, and I tried that one I had for, uh, it's a smart watch that didn't last very long. So about a week, uh, and then I ordered a, a watch online, so it took a couple days for it to get there. And um, so... Anyways, without wearing a watch, you know, I, I did use my cell phone a bit, and that's what most people use today to figure out what their, what time it is. Uh, if I was in front of a TV or a computer, I can use that, use that as well. Uh, there are some watch, there are some clocks on the walls, so it really wasn't the end of the world. And I kind of know what time it roughly is because I can remember well, I was 30 minutes ago. I know in the ballpark area, if I checked the a time there. However, it is just kind of nice and reassuring that I know what time it is just by just looking at, at my watch and, you know, if I'm, you know, sleeping and I, I wake up and say, well, how much more time I got to sleep? I just hit the little uh, light on there and just check it out and go back to sleep. You don't have to worry about finding a phone or whatever else you have to do. And so uh, it, it was interesting uh, to, again, live without a watch for, for about a week and, uh, you know, it, it is possible. It is possible to give it your technology gadgets. And even though there's kind of more of a renaissance with these smart watches like they're, they're coming out. But these, these regular watches, still very useful. Uh, it's, it's good to know the time. You know, if you, you know, if you teach or you go to class or you're, you're a student, uh, go to work, it's, it's nice to just know what time it is and not have to constantly look at your phone. And of course, you know, as you know, phones uh, die, especially the smartphones, they don't, they don't last, they don't seem to last for me longer than, uh, I don't know, eight hours, something like that, 12 hours or something. So anyways, that's uh, my little story about my watch and, and why I decided to get this one. And if someone has a band, I guess you can have this watch if you want it. Rock and roll, and of course, it does compute.